There is nothing more rewarding to me than being able to capture my images and show my client right away what we got. I'm Tasha Dickinson. I'm a commercial and portrait photographer based in Nashville, Tennessee. So the purpose of today's shoot is that we're going to be focusing on headshots. And what I really want to show you guys is that you can easily get one headshot that's very business and kind of what most people are looking for when they're looking for a headshot. And then how you can easily get another shot that maybe is a little more moody or matches that person's style a little more um, just by switching up your lighting a little bit. For Leon's first shot, I really wanted to show you guys how even if you just have one strobe, you can easily still get amazing headshots. And so what we did was we took one strobe, we took an Einstein, a Palsy Buff umbrella, and a diffusion sock, and then I had my assistant holding a reflector off to the side. And even if you don't have an assistant, you could use a light stand and a clip. Um, for this and get the same type of result. And so what we got was something really simple, easy, but still looks really professional, um, just with one light and a reflector. For Jill's first shot, what we did was we did what's called clamshell lighting. And clamshell lighting is just a really beautiful, even lit, um, very soft and very forgiving of any sort of skin issues or anything like that. So it's a great light to use. Um, if, if you just want something that's not too complicated but and pretty easy to do and you have two lights, it's a great setup. So anytime I'm doing headshots, I always love to get that first shot where it's kind of like the typical corporate headshot. But then I love to show off that person's personality, get to know them a little bit, and sometimes that personality means doing something a little more moody, and that's exactly what we did with Leon. So for the setup for Leon's second shot, what we did was we used the same umbrella from the first shot um, with the diffusion sock, and then we used the soft box behind him uh, to his left with a grid on, which made it where none of the light would fall off on the backdrop. And then we also used a really cool textured backdrop from Savage Seamless. Once we got the lights set up exactly how I wanted them to capture that perfect moody shot, I got Leon up and moving around, got his hair blowing in the wind, and we were really able to capture his personality. So for Jill's last shot, what we did was we went outside, found some shade, and used an Einstein light with a beauty dish and a diffusion sock. Once we got out there, I first took a few photos just to get the lighting right for the background. And then once I had the lighting right for the background for what I wanted, I knew I just wanted to pop in a little light with that Einstein and the beauty dish. And so we just popped in a little light and created a few beautiful images out there with a cool outdoor textured backdrop. For me, when I'm on set, especially in the studio, there is nothing more rewarding to me than being able to capture my images and show my client right away what we got, especially when it comes to headshots. People can be so picky about their face. The things that you don't even think about, they may think, oh, my face from this way, my nose looks weird, and you would have never thought that. But being able to tether, you can just see those things right away, get feedback from your client, and fix whatever is wrong. So in addition to using the Tether Tools cable with my Nikon D750, I also uh, recently purchased the Tether Tools Aero Table system, which makes it where I can put my iMac on it. Um, I can like tighten it down so it can't really get knocked over. And I love being able to bring my iMac. So one of the biggest reasons when I started out doing commercial photography uh, that I bought a Tether Tools cable was because I was doing all these shoots and I would be doing all these shoots and doing all these headshots and at the end of it I'd be picking out 
you know, like 20 headshots of someone and editing all of them. And then the people, you know, they only pick two images. So what I started doing when I tether is I would be able to be standing right with that client and I'd be able to say to them, hey, let's pick out the images you want me to edit for you. And so it saved me a ton of time on editing, just being able to say, which ones do you want me to retouch? And then I was able to narrow it down to the two or five that they wanted and I just had to edit those, which was a total game changer for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on the shoot today. Uh, if you guys want to see more of my work, you can follow me at Tasha Dickinson on Instagram or go to my website, TashaDickinson.com. And if you want to see more amazing videos like this, make sure you subscribe. See y'all later.